Yes, yes, welcome to a full day of eating with me, Ben Mohu. Quick disclaimer, if you are vegan, you probably do not want to watch this video as I'm a raging carnivore. Only joking, but the protein consumption is going to be high. So if you want to build muscle or watch me talk absolute nonsense all day, then you probably want to watch this video to the end because I'm going to walk you through what I'm eating day to day to eat 4,000 clean calories pretty easily. Okay, every day I'll start off with an ice cold coffee and a litre of water just to enhance my human function and replenish my body from lost electrolytes from sleep. Now, around 9, 10 a.m., I'll get up to making my first meal, which is a natural protein shake. Don't like using protein powders. It leaves me glued to toilets for the next three days. So I'm going to show you a natural way to get your protein in in a shake, which is very easily digestible for a thousand calories. Okay, so I'm going to show you my exquisite ingredients list to put in my natural protein shake. Starting off with creatine. At the moment, I'm running about seven to eight grams of creatine every day as my body weight's increasing. General guidelines is five to 10 grams of creatine per day. I'll just whack that in my shake. Next, oats. I'll put 60 grams of oats in the shake. If you put more, it just becomes a clumpy mess of absolute dog shit. So don't put more than 60 in. Then this is the key, right? I'm gonna put four raw eggs in the shake. This is literally the same as using a scoop of protein powder and you don't get the shits and you get all the natural healthy fats and all the greatness from eggs. So I'm gonna add four raw eggs into there. Also frozen blueberries for the flavor. Banana, I'm using two small ones because it got absolutely ripped off by Tesco. And I'm gonna use coconut water. Okay, first thing first, I'm gonna put this on the scale just so I can measure out everything so I can track my calories accurately. I'm not too fast and technical when it comes to counting calories, but I just like to know what's in my food and how much of it I'm eating. So I'm gonna kick it off with the eggs. Four eggs, this is about 24 grams of natural protein. As well as the protein, you're gonna get all the benefits that come with eggs, like the cholesterol. It's gonna help bind, build your testosterone. I like eating eggs, I probably eat about four every single day as I'm having a smoothie on a daily basis. Very fucking easy way to get a thousand calories in, if you ask me. Now the key to making the shake taste good is the blueberries, right? If you don't put blueberries in, it'll just taste like absolute cement, which you don't want. Especially when you're bulking, you want your food to taste good, otherwise you're not gonna to wanna to eat it. People say to me all the time, Ben, I struggle to get my calories in. What can I do to eat more calories so I can build muscle? And I'm like, all right, what are your meals looking like? And they'll just be like, oh, plain oats. Just plain fucking porridge. Oh, plain chicken and rice. And I'm like, you gotta make your meals taste good if you want to eat them, right? I don't care how many calories I've eaten in a day. If you put a good meal in front of me that tastes good, I'm gonna fucking eat it. Okay, so 60 grams in there. Now I'm gonna put my banana in. And the last and the final ingredient is gonna be coconut water. Don't stress if you don't have coconut water. I just like it because of the taste and the hydration aspects. But you just use normal cold water instead. And I'm gonna fill that right up to the top and hope that the blender doesn't explode. Okay, so now it's time for the taste test that you've all been waiting for. Absolutely delicious. But the meal is not complete. That shake itself is seven to 800 calories. So I need some additional calories to hit that 1000 calorie bump for the meal. And that is in the form of nuts. So I have almond and Brazil nuts. I put 25 grams each in a bowl. Add some honey on that, eat them. That's an extra 300 calories. So this meal, we're hitting 1000 calories. So we're off to a good start. It's 10 o'clock now and I'm already on 1000 calories, easy. There we go, 50 grams of nuts. So 25 of Brazil nuts, 25 for almonds. Okay, something that I wanna to touch upon is a mistake I see a lot of people making when it comes to their full day of eating, hitting their calorie intake and hitting their protein goals. And that is that they don't prepare their meals for the day. You're going to sick form, you're going to your job. You need to make sure you're preparing your meals so that you can hit your calorie goal by the end of the day. I remember when I was going to sick form, wake up, have my breakfast, go eight hours without barely eating a thing. Maybe I'd have a chicken wrap from McDonald's at lunch, come home, have my dinner, have my snack, and I'd end the day on about 2000 calories. If I'm looking to build muscle, pack on mass, really progress with my training, my physique, 2,000 calories ain't gonna cut it. I need to be hitting that 4,000 calorie goal. And I can't do that if I don't prep my meals, especially if I'm going to a job for eight to nine hours or going to school all day. So a couple things 
you need to do when it comes to prepping your meals for the day to make sure you can hit your calorie goal, hit your protein goal so you can progress with your physique. First of all, you need to work out how many meals you need to prep and what meals you're going to prep. Things like chicken, rice, asparagus, put some seasoning, some sauce, mince and rice, make some basic meals that carry well. You don't want to have a ribeye steak and carry that around with you for seven hours because it's not going to taste very nice when you get it out of the container. And you want to work out how many of those meals you want to make for that day. Probably around two. Maybe you have a main meal which is worth about a thousand calories. Then you have a snack which is maybe 500 to 700 calories. There you've prepped 1.5k calories. Add that onto your breakfast, lunch, snack, after dinner and you can hit your calorie intake pretty easily. Now you have an idea what meals you're going to prep and how many of them you need to make. You need to set aside 20 to 30 minutes every evening to prep those meals for the next day. I remember when I was in my second year of college and I really took control of my diet and meal prepping. At nine o'clock I'll go down to the kitchen, stick a podcast in and prep my chicken, boil my rice for the next day. That way I knew that I could get my meals in and fit my calories in for that day and I was on track with my physique and my diet. Anyway enough of the meal prep rant for today. I'm gonna go make lunch now. It's currently 1 p.m. I'm gonna go make my lunch. Feeling a bit of ribeye steak, so let's go make a steak. When it comes to my main meal around midday, it's gonna vary from day to day. One day I'll have steak, next day I'll have chicken, next day I'll have salmon, and then the day after that I'll just have something completely random. Like yesterday I just had like venison steaks, so random like that. I try to keep as much variety in my diet as possible. That way, one, it doesn't get boring. Two, it's easier to consume the calories because I like the taste of it. The taste is always new, refreshing. I'm not just eating the same thing seven days a week. So today, what I'm gonna have for lunch my main meal which is my main meal before hitting the gym so I've had the shake for breakfast this is my main meal which is going to really fuel me for that session later on today and then I have a little pre-workout meal which I'll show you later on as well but for lunch ribeye steak 227 grams to be precise then I've got some white rice probably around two to three hundred grams of that then I've got some feta cheese cheese is an absolute abundance in calories it would just add on about two to 400 calories to every meal. So I'm gonna do some feta with it. Same with avocado, another two to 300 calories in this. Then I'm just gonna add some tomatoes to take. I've just turned a boring steak and rice meal into a very vibrant and exquisite meal, which is gonna be a pleasure on my tongue. Now I'm gonna add some seasoning and sauce to it as well. So I'm gonna cook this lunch now. This is by my estimate, about 1,100 to 200 calories. So it's gonna really bump up that calorie intake, fueling me for that session later on today. Anyway, so I've got ribeye steak, rice, avocado, feta cheese, tomatoes. The calories are gonna be somewhere up on the screen right now, but this is essentially gonna fuel my gym session, which is gonna happen in about four to five hours time. Now, this is gonna be assisted with the pre-workout meal, which I'm gonna show you after this, but this is probably around 1,200 calories anyway. It's gonna fully load me up for my session and probably send me into a massive food coma for the next three hours. All right, so I've just exited a two hour food coma, which I've been in from lunch. That was a very, very, big meal which I struggled to finish I'm being honest there's 1,300 calories I just checked so uh yeah that wasn't very nice but anyway now is my pre-workout meal my pre-workout meal is exactly the same every single day it's going to be 60 grams of oats with some milk frozen blueberries and I'm also going to have a banana as well literally just pure carbohydrates to fuel my session get a pump so I've got 60 grams of oats banana frozen blueberries and mix that in with some milk don't use water because it'll taste like absolute shit. All right, we're on the way to the gym now, doing chest, shoulders, bit of traps, bit of tricep maybe. I'm not too bothered about doing triceps because I'm doing arms tomorrow. I like doing arms on their own, so I'll hit arms on a Saturday. But we're on the way to the gym now, feeling fueled up after that fat lunch and bowl of oats. So high carbs, should be a good pump. Also, with my water intake today, I've drunk two big bottles of water, so I'm currently about three liters of water and I like to keep my hydration high so then I get a good pump and it's just good for your mental focus and energy levels. So I'm gonna hit this session now and let's go.
All right, so that's a wrap on the session. Good 45 minutes, chest, shoulders. Didn't do tricep because I'm doing arms tomorrow. So I want to save the arms for the ultimate pump on a Saturday morning. But yeah, I don't want to bombard you with the training content today because it's meant to be a full day of eating, not training. So I'll include some more training in the next couple of videos. But now I'm going to head home, chill for a couple of hours. Then I'm going to make my dinner as I'm still full from that fat lunch and pre-workout meal. So I'm going to sit at home, let all that food digest, chill for a bit, edit some of this video, and then I'll show you what I'm having for dinner. I feel like a bit of chicken and pasta is in order. So we will see what my chefing ability skills have in order tonight. Okay, so now I'm back from the gym, showered, ready for my fourth slash post-workout slash final meal of the day, which is gonna be chicken, pasta with a little bit of bacon and some sauce. So I'm using chicken breast today. Usually when I'm bulking, I like chicken thighs because it's a little bit higher in calories, but today I've got breast because it's higher in protein. And I've got some bacon rashers, some sauce, which is sun-dried tomato, garlic, and basil. Sounds absolutely delicious. Then I've got some casarechi, casarechi pasta. I learned how to pronounce every single pasta type when I was working in an Italian restaurant. So this one is called casarechi, not casarechi. But anyway, I'm gonna make this chicken pasta. It should be around a thousand calories for this meal to fuel my post-workout antics. The macros will be up on the screen when I make the meal, but first I've got to make it. I'm actually cooking for four people. I'm cooking for the whole family. I'm on Friday night dinner duties. So I'm gonna cook this to complete the remainder of my 1,000 calories remaining. I'm actually gonna check exactly how many. If you don't know already, I've been tracking this whole day of eating through my fitness pal, absolute plug. This isn't a paid promotion, unfortunately, but I am on 2,892 calories, which leaves me with 1,108 calories, which will be completed through this meal. If I don't hit the recommended calories with these ingredients, then I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese for some extra calories. Like I did at lunch, like that feta cheese, added on 300 calories to my lunch. That lunch was 1,300 calories, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous. But anyway, I'm gonna get cooking. It's actually 5.30. I don't think I've ever eaten dinner this early, but I trained a little bit earlier today. So I need to fuel the gains, otherwise, my muscles are going to deplete overnight, which I don't want. All right, so we have the finished product. All the dinner, yeah, if you come in and zoom in on that. Absolute banger meal. Chicken, pasta, sauce, bacon, around 940 calories. I'll put it up on the screen somewhere with the macros, but that is my final meal for the day. I'm gonna absolutely devour this. All right, so that is a wrap on the full day of eating. We ended the day on 3,980 calories consumed and with 220 grams of protein. Don't worry too much about carbs, fat, that will fluctuate on a day-to-day -day basis. Tracked all my meals today through my fitness pal, which makes it so seamless and easy to input all my calories and get the macros back from that. But just a quick word on my goals of my physique at the moment, I'm, why I'm eating 4,000 calories, because it seems a bit excessive, but I am in a hard muscle gaining phase I'm really trying to put on mass at the moment in the morning I'm weighing in just above 77 kilograms I put on two kilos in the past couple weeks since I've been doing this diet and it's worked well for me so the goal as of now when I'm sitting at just above 77 kilograms is to bulk up to around 85 kg for March so that gives me six months to gain eight kilograms which is just above a kilogram per month which I think is very doable especially if I'm eating 4,000 calories I'm not too fussed about hitting that 85 kilogram mark but between 80 and 85 because the idea is i'm gonna bulk until march hit april time i'm gonna cut down april may get shredded for my birthday i want to do a trip to ibiza for my birthday with my best mates that's a goal of mine i want to turn 20 in ibiza 18th of may 2025 and i'm gonna be shredded for it i want to be 80 kilos lean so that is the goal that i'm working towards with my physique i always like to have these nice little goals so now i have six months of bulking get as big as i can and not putting on too much fat so that I can cut down relatively quickly in April, May time, then hit Ibiza absolutely fucking shredded. Hopefully you can take some inspiration from the meals that I was making, give you a bit of entertainment. And if I did, make sure you hit that like button because it helped me more than you can imagine. Drop a comment if you've got any questions, what you thought of the video, what videos you want to see me make next. And yeah, that's going to be a wrap. I'll see you in the next one.